Hello YouTubers, Killer Link in part 1 with a figure review for you. Um, today we're looking at the Jedi Temple Guard from the Saga Legends, Star Wars, Rebels toy line. I'm going to look at the packaging. It is very reminiscent of the legacy packaging where it has the, the actual cardboard bit at the back shaped like a stormtrooper a bit like the legacy was and then down below you've got all these stuff about Star Wars Rebels um, picture of the Jedi Temple Guard Star Wars Rebels Disney um, XD like logo and it's got like the Star Wars at the top bit like the Revenge of the Sith logo now on the back of the packaging we have a picture of two Jedi Temple Guards from the Clone Wars just to let you know these guys weren't in the Clone Wars long they were in the end of series 5 and they were in one or two episodes in series six. We have the bio about the Jedi Temple Guard and then all the other figures such as TIE Fighter Pilot, Commander Gree, Darth Maul, 501st Trooper, Mace Windu, Snow Trooper, no, not Snow Trooper, sorry, I mean AT-80 driver and a AT DP driver. So that is the packaging. Now I'm going to look at the figure. The figure is very, very, very nice. Definitely one I would get. Um, it has almost like a monk type looking outfit kind of reminds me of one of the characters from 300 you know the monks that had the fangs kind of reminds me of those and uh, I like how the mask kind of looks like bandages I mean it isn't it's just a mask but it kind of reminds me like that it's got the black rectangles for the eyes we've got like these um, grey and beige and like brown for the belt if I move the figure you can also see that there are many types of like different keys for the Jedi Temple to open the many rooms of the Jedi Temple there's some on this side and there's the back of the figure It's got a hood, which what I do like about these is that Saga Legend Mission Series, when a character has the hood, they always sculpt the hood, it's pretty good. I always like that. And he also has a lightsaber, double bladed lightsaber pike, which is basically a reuse from recycled reuse from the black series vintage collection but still a Shan figure now the disappointing part well it's not that disappointing because if you've collected the old vintage Star Wars figures that only had five points of articulation these guys are kind of like that but in new sculpt so it's a bit odd but this figure has a swivel head, swivel shoulders and swivel hips and what is cool is when you swivel one of the hips you can actually see the trousers and the boots very textured and detailed getting <sighs> standing overall this is a good figure got lots of details definitely one I would recommend highly recommend even though it has five points of articulation it would still look good on the Clone Wars collection because 
we don't have any other Jedi Temple Guard figures and I'm glad they actually made this one and really hard to find but if you can find it definitely get it I would give this a 8 out of 10 very awesome and also the blades are also yellow on this lightsaber pike I just forgot luckily I remembered so yeah like comment rate subscribe killer link in part one with another video for you killer linkin park out